Hi friends, Elise from Cellar Door coming at you today from my favorite place in the world, my front porch. So as we're heading into spring, another cycle of rebirth and growth is starting. And one of the things I like to do this time of year is move some of my indoor plants outside. So let's take a look at how you can do this with your house plant. One of the first things you're going to want to do is take a look at your hardiness zone. So this is when you see a tag that says US hardiness zone eight to 10 for outdoor growth. That's what you're gonna to wanna to research about your particular place where you live. Now, I live in North Florida, so we get spring in February. So when I'm looking around at the weather, you don't wanna just pick the first day that you get 60 or 70 degrees on because you can sometimes get a fall spring. And you can also see my real dog in this window. <laughs> you can sometimes have a fall spring. So what you're gonna to want to do is look at when your last frost is and then go about two or three weeks out from there and that's when you can start as a general rule to move stuff outside. For me, this looked like checking the weather for about a 10 day period and finding the lowest temperature and any low temperature that was below 60, I tried to wait it out until we were looking consistently at lows of 60, 64 every day. Because what I like to do is move all of my succulents outside. I love having them inside my house, but they just don't get the same light. And I found that mine really enjoy, oddly enough, the humidity that comes from being here in Florida. So I take all of my plants that I've been keeping inside for the winter, move them out to my front porch and my back porch, and allow that to just kind of add some beauty to my space. This bird paradise that you see behind me was also inside for the winter because she doesn't like the cold temperatures, even though it doesn't really get much colder than 30 degrees here and not for a very long time. But it's important to remember that your plants have different needs and different wants for their weather and sunlight. So once you figured out that the weather is good enough for you to start moving your stuff outside, the next thing you have to do is begin to figure out how to reintroduce them to the spring sunlight and the spring temperatures. All winter they've been in your house getting pretty consistent daily temperatures and pretty consistent daily sun. When they move outside they're going to have to reacclimate to getting very direct light in a lot of cases and also different weather. So that's another reason if you have a plant like a, a rubber tree you're going to want to keep that inside in the winter in a sunny spot but you can move it back outside in the summer because they really like humidity they really like bright light but you're not going to want to put them outside in 12 hours of direct sunlight right away you're going to want to put them out there for a couple hours every day if you're not able to go out and move your plant around into the shade after six hours of direct sunlight another thing you can do is kind of figure out where in your yard or on your porch you're going to want to put it in an area where we'll get four to six hours of sunlight today instead of 10 to 12. That's a really good way to start from the base when you are planning to put your indoor house plants outside. A general rule of thumb I use is because we have so much humidity here in Florida that my exotic or more exotic tropical plants, uh, bromeliads, monsteras, birds of paradise, and succulents, I like to keep them outside for as much of the you know, spring, summer season as possible because they really like those warmer temperatures, they love the humidity, and it kind of makes them feel like they're a little bit back in their natural environment. So that is an awesome way to start your house plants, getting happy and healthy outside. So it's also a really fun time of year to start branching out into different plants that you may not have otherwise tried. It's a great time to start with something that's a little bit more tropical because you know that you can give them a little extra humidity and sunlight in the spring and summer months. If you live in an arid area, like uh, Arizona, New Mexico, you might have a little more difficulty growing some of those tropical plants that like a lot of humidity and moisture outside. That's okay. You can grow all the succulents you could ever want or need. <laughs> a great thing that's really fun to do if you also wanna bring some of your houseplants into your yard, you can move your orchids, your ferns, um, and other shade loving, not necessarily full light sinking plants outside. You hang them in your trees. And it looks really cool to have some kogadamas filled with orchids or ferns. Staghorn ferns are really cool hanging from trees as you pretty much any fern. It's a great way to kind of introduce them outside if you have the yard space to do it. If you live in an apartment, there's always moving things closer to windows, moving things closer to your front door. If you're able to put things out by your porch, you could have a small setup like this just by your front door with a couple of plants. That's all the spring tips I have for you today. See you next time.